Hello there YouTube, this is my antenna specialist, 144 to 174 megahertz antenna. Covers a 2 meter band, covers like your police VHF band. Uh, most weather frequencies are 162. This is a very good antenna. This has been a better mobile antenna for a scanner than I've ever had on a mobile, and I've had quite a few. I have the cardboard tube for this, which I'll include some pictures at the end of the cardboard tube. This is approximately 42 inches long with a spring. This is fiberglass. We'll bring it down here. A nice little red tip on the end. I clean this with, very carefully, with a piece of green scrub pad. Like your kitchen pad with the foam, I always rip the, rip it off, rip the foam off. Very carefully, because I do not want to fray this fiberglass. Or it will just start unwrap, just start fuzzing off, is what I call it. I think about maybe putting some kind of clear on it. This was really scrungy. I, I, it never should have been used. It could be a collector's item someday, but if you don't, if you don't use the stuff, ain't no use in having it. This I use some 400 grit wet dry sandpaper with a 50-50 mix of white distilled vinegar and filtered water. I use the filter on my water tap. I don't want to leave any hard water deposits. And like this, I use my green scrub pad. And how this goes together is, I have to make or find a rubber gasket. How this went together was, we'll start from the very bottom. This goes through about a 3 8 hole. This is coarse thread. This is a regular net, because the other one was corroded. All the lock washer on there. This goes down through a hole. I had it mounted on my toolbox in my pickup once. Your ground will go to one of those ring terminals. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is kind of a weird combination connector. Inside of here, it says 144 to 124. Weird on this connector. But this just screws in here. That goes in there, but you have this on here, and I have this set so this doesn't go all the way tight. I have this set on here. Let me get this nut off here. I have this set so this goes on and squeezes down the gasket. It has to go up maybe a little bit more. That this never bottoms out. I don't want this to bottom out and get stuck. So there'll be a rubber gasket on here. I probably will make one out of a piece of bicycle inner tube or something that mounts through the hole. In very fine print on her, it says stripes of quality. This company made antennas for CBs, they were using gray. When I bought this, I bought this at a ham fest, like a giant rummage sale where ham operators sell their equipment. While I'm walking around, there's a couple guys snickering, kind of standing off to the side. I'm, I'm the type of guy, I just walk right up to and approach them. And they go, I see you bought that marine antenna. Well, marine frequencies are in 156. I go, yeah, it's a marine antenna. I go, plus more. Well, it ain't going to work on ham radio. Well, I shoved it in their face where they could see the 144. And of course, there's always a know-it-all. Well, as I carried it around, as I was there, an older ham operator told me, he said, they used to put these on police motorcycles. You do not need a ground plane on this to work. He goes, you could put this on a stick and it's still going to work. The way all these antennas work, there's a load coil in here. So if you put a voltmeter for continuity from the center, hot tip, and you put it down to the ground, you will get continuity because they feed back. It might tap off like halfway up a copper coil in there. If, if I had one of these apart, there's probably going to be a copper coil of wire in there. It goes back to ground. Well, he told me, he says, they put these on motorcycles, so you ain't going to need much for ground plane. Well... I'm going to put some radials on there, about 20 inches. Something similar to when you make a 2 meter quarter wave ground plane. Glad that plate glass is thick. And I'm going to turn this into a base antenna. A small, tight base antenna and see how it works. Because this tuned very well. Like, there was no SWRs. I probably used a 17 or 18 foot piece of coaxial cable. Probably something left over from CB use. That's what you use. And never had a problem because there's no way to tune this. If this would have been a CB antenna, they had an Allen screw and the wire went up and down. You could see where this is epoxied in there. 
it adds a glue epoxy. This was very scrunchy. This had been on my truck for quite a few years and I took it off, threw it up in the shed, hung it up. So I'm thinking about putting something on here because I have sanded on this plastic. It's not going to be smooth, sealed over. I'm, I'm going to think about putting something on her to seal this. Maybe I'll just spray some silicone on it. Uh, just some pure silicone out of a can or maybe some furniture polish. And probably some furniture polish because that has like a coating. Just thought I'd show that right there. You have a lock washer goes on here. The lock washer was on here once was stainless. For some reason, it's gone. There we go. Had to pause to think what I was doing. But I'll include some pictures of this all together. End of the cardboard tube that it came in. It's a black and red striped tube. But a very good quality antenna. If you find one of these, even the CB ones, there wasn't a whole lot of gain in the CB antennas, but what's nice about them, they mounted like this too. So it only takes a 3 8 hole through a bracket or something to mount it. I've had vehicles where I just drill a hole right to the trunk. I'm just that way. I've tool box or something. I've had a had cars I've just drilled a hole. I had a hundred and two inch wimp on the back of a car. I drilled the hole right in the trunk, drill the holes and put the ball mount right on the trunk. I'm just that way. It doesn't matter to me. If someone's ever gonna buy the thing or ever redo the car, they can fill the holes in. So to me it doesn't matter. I'll do it. I'll drill a hole right in a vehicle. And make sure you seal it up. Make sure if you put a rubber gas on it, go through it and put it. That's why they made this antenna this way. If you put a rubber gas and put a little bit of sealer, it is pretty waterproof. Because the only way the water is going to enter the vehicle is through this gasket on the bottom. But thanks for watching this little video. It is a nice quality little antenna. I'd like to have another one. I may never ever find another one of these. But I use various things. I use alcohol pads to clean stuff off. I use the wet dry sandpaper of course with the water vinegar mix. Uh, wire brush on different things. Uh, rougher stuff like on certain things like a nut or a wash or something. I may use one of these sanding sponges. But various types of stuff here. But hope there isn't too much glare on here. We've got a piece here so we can work on stuff keep it nice and clean. This is really nice. When I'm done I can wash it off. I work on radio equipment or something that's always in a clean environment. Wipe it down before you go to work. Um, micro cloth. These things that stick to your finger and your uh, little like little hooks almost feels like a piece of velcro. These will buff. I use it to buff this spring. I didn't want to really scratch it with that scotch pad. I used this to buff this spring and it turned out and even buffed this part. It's just abrasive enough to put a nice shine on there. But just thought I'd show some of the various cleaning supplies I use when I do this. I feel like a surgeon. But turned out real good. There was some rust on here. This soaked for about an hour in vinegar and water. It did remove the rust with the wire brush on the threads. There was a small amount of rust because the washer had rusted. So, and then uh, I'll roll up my sandpaper. I see you roll this up in a little roll, tight roll to get down inside of something like this. I have torch chip cleaner like you clean your torch with. That's like a round file type little chip cleaner. I'll use that type of stuff to clean up connections. You want everything clean, spotless. No corrosion. But enough of that. I don't want some of these videos to be too long. Thank you for watching.